Alright, chapter 9, Central America and the Caribbean Islands. Now the song that you just heard was Kokomo by the Beach Boys, and oddly enough, it's as old as I am. Start off by copying these vocab terms down, and then resume the video when you are finished. Okay, let's start by looking at the globe. We're going to review a few of the things that we've discussed already. So looking at North America, we've already talked about the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Now we're going to turn our attention to this area that we call Central America and the Caribbean Islands. Now Central America and the Caribbean Sea are home to 20 countries and a number of island territories, meaning that they're islands, but they belong to somebody else. Central America is this area right here. It includes the countries of Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. Now, Central America is what's known as an isthmus. It's kind of a fun word to say. An isthmus is a narrow strip of land that connects two larger land areas. So it connects the main part of North America to South America. And we can think of it basically as a land bridge that connects the two regions. The next area is the Caribbean Islands. This includes Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, the Bahamas, and as you can see, several other islands. Now, if we were to zoom in, you would see that this is made up of several thousand islands. The Caribbean islands form what's called an archipelago, and an archipelago is a large group of islands, starting from the Bahamas up here, all the way down to Trinidad and Tobago down here. Now, earthquakes and volcanoes are very common throughout this whole region. Altogether, there are two main island groups. The Greater Antilles, which includes Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti and Dominican Republic, which we call Hispaniola, and Puerto Rico. And then we have the Lesser Antilles, which is all of these smaller islands that wrap around this way. Now, this region has two major climate types, humid tropical, and tropical savanna. Now most people live there because the temperatures are more moderate. And as you can already imagine, based on TV and movies that you've seen, a lot of these areas are very popular vacation spots. Now most of the original vegetation, meaning the trees and things like that, has been cleared and made into plantations and ranches. Some areas are mountainous, especially in Central America, and are covered with cloud forests. Now, cloud forests is where you have high elevation tropical forest where low clouds are common. So throughout here, where there's lots of mountains, you will find that the clouds kind of get trapped inside those mountains, as you can see here. So it'd be kind of fascinating to see across all the treetops and the mountaintops, low laying clouds. I can only imagine what it would be like looking up at the clouds. Go ahead and copy these details down, and then uh, resume the video when you're finished. Hurricanes are a danger to this region. Now you've probably heard about several of the hurricanes that have come through this year in 2017, and they had lots of damage, particularly in places like Puerto Rico. Hurricanes are tropical storms that bring violent winds, heavy rain, and high seas. They can cause great damage and loss of life. Hurricane season runs from June through November. Throughout this region, agriculture is very profitable, where volcanic ash has enriched the soil. Major crops in this region include coffee, sugarcane, cotton, and as you can see in this picture, bananas. Now when bananas are picked, they're picked before they are fully ripe, so it's when they're green. And then when they start to turn yellow, that's when it's best to consume them. 
a lot of the times people that pick these bananas have to be very careful because whenever they cut them from the trees, as you can see from these thick stalks right here, they have to be careful because sometimes in these stalks of bananas, you will find tarantulas hiding inside. Now, as discussed earlier, a lot of people come to this region for vacationing, especially in the Caribbean islands. The Bahamas have some of the most fancy resorts in the world. And that makes tourism the most important industry in this area. Now, as far as resources are concerned, there are very few mineral resources found throughout the Caribbean islands or Central America. Instead, they have to rely on the rich soil for crops, and sometimes they have to import resources. Now, importing resources limits their development. They can only do so much with what they're given. And that's chapter 9. We will discuss more in class throughout the week.